What you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at free online scanners and how you can use them to hopefully remove malware and infections from your computer system. Now, the good thing about these online scanners is that you can use them alongside your current antivirus program, which means you get the uh, chance to use another antivirus program uh, on your system alongside your other one. So here we have F-Secure. This is another new tool that, that they've got come out and uh, we're going to give this a run to see whether it detects anything on the system and whether it can remove infections. Now there is infections on this computer. So we're going to start off with F-Secure and uh, we'll see how that goes. Now if I can get time, I will go through some others. Now I do like ESET's online scanner. I think it's probably one of the best ones out there, if not the best. And, uh, but we'll try and get some done to see what they detect. So I clicked on this and hopefully this will open up. It seems to be very, very slow at the minute. Okay. So here we have uh, our language. You can choose what language you want. There's quite a few languages there. And now I'm going to hit the start button. And it does a scan of your system. And uh, hopefully um, we can remove these infections. Now it's always best to back up all your system before you start to remove any infections uh, from your computer in case it crashes. Now we can send a contribute uh, anonymous data of suspicious, uh, suspicious items during the scan if you wish. I'd advise you to do that because it does help these guys to keep their program up to date. I'm just going to disable that for now because this is just a video and uh, we're just going to say yes to the agreement there and let this go. Now hopefully this will run a scan and it will find some infections on our system. So we'll let that uh, run. So as you can see with the scan we have got already 23 harmful items found on the system. Now it doesn't really tell you um, what they are and where they are. It just gives you a scan which I thought was a little bit of a, a letdown really. But it doesn't really t tell you much here as far as I can see. Um, so it wants me to restart the system. So we'll quickly restart and hopefully uh, this will remove all those from the system. So let's restart the system. Okay, so we're now back at the desktop and it now wants to do another scan of the computer. So we're just going to let that do another scan. So as you can see here, we have no harmful items found. One arm harmful item found, it said right at the very end it now wants to restart again so we'll quickly restart here okay it's running another scan now a third scan so we'll let this complete okay so it's saying there's no harmful items found now so now it gives us the list this list would be great if it would have give us this at the beginning uh, I think so we could see what was going on that would have been a much nicer thing to see um, but the computer is now clean it's saying and the following items have been removed from the system uh, so you can see here we've got a little list of stuff now we can go next and uh, it's saying there's no security application installed and the reason why that is because we've got no antivirus program that's fine so let me just uh, go next here And it's uh, okay, so it's put this on here. So, what we're going to do now is run a quick scan with Malwarebytes and to see if it's left anything on the system. So, we need to update uh, Malwarebytes and then I'll give this a run and then maybe give Hitman Pro a run. We'll see what it looks like at the end. Okay, the scan is running through here and it's found one object. Okay, so that's the scan now complete, and as you can see it's found quite a lot of stuff already still on the system so we have, we've got uh, stuff in our startup here and that's an actual file we've got a file here which is in our temp folder and we've also got uh, another file and as you can see quite a lot of nasty stuff was still left on the system um, so we've got a back door and stuff so that um, scan that said it completely uh, removed everything and your system is clean was not quite true but then nothing ever cleans the system completely so that's what is actually left after we run uh, the scan so let me just quickly remove all of these and then restart the system
OK, so we're back at the desktop and uh, I'm just going to quickly do a scan with Hitman Pro just to make sure everything is cleaned. And once the scan is now complete, you can see there is a folder that's been hidden on the desktop, which was at a vir called virus. That was the file or folder I created with viruses in it. And when I installed these viruses, it hid that folder. So they are still in that folder. So let me just go to um, computer here and uh, organize folder and search options and then show hidden folders folders and drives and then we're gonna take the tick out of that and as you can see here that is the folder there and inside there there is viruses still in there so we need to remove those from the system so we'll just quickly remove those that leaves just one left inside there so we'll just quickly close this off and uh, I'm going to quickly delete that folder so here we have the website all you need to do is just click on the run now and it will download the program and you can run this on uh, Windows 8 right away back to Windows XP okay so that's basically the free online scanner for F-Secure but anyway my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope these videos help you out I hope you like them if you do then hit the like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now